day, beautiful people. Top of the day, top of the day. That's why boo. Hi, right, beautiful people. We're in a few minutes behind today. Me and hubby was chatting about something. So I was like, let me let them know I'm going to come on a few minutes late today. So that's why we're late today. Me and hubby was talking about something. All right, y'all. It is Friday. Preparing for the Sabbath when the sun go down. Get some rest for these beautiful bodies of ours. All right. It is Friday, January 20. I'm sorry, January. I didn't even say today. January 17th. 2020 day 48 of year two of reading through the books of instruction and the prophets hey 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 tiffany hey 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 and we're in numbers 25 26 and 27 all right so let's get right to it y'all that's wabu top of the day hunty top of the day okay numbers chapter 25 and ye so lily abode in shittim and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of moab and they called the people into the sacrifices of their gods, and the people did eat and bowed down to their gods. And Yisolili joined himself unto Baal Peor, and the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Yisolili. Remember yesterday I brought out a point that Israel, although it's a nation of people, is being referred to at, in the singular form. So pay attention to that because that's the... Um, that's the going thing as you go throughout it'll help clear up some of these things um that we were taught erroneously because if you realize when i say he my son you realize it's still talking about the nation of people and not one in particular person what well, if you know if it's talking about one in particular person because they'll be talking to him like master said it'll call him out and speak to him directly like early on when jacob or yisa lily was still alive remember his name was changed from jacob or Yakuba to Yisa Lili or Israel, as most people know today. But in, you know, original Bantu languages, Yakuba and Yisa Lili, or some say Yisa Ella. All right. So it says, in Israel, which is right here at this point, is talking about the whole, well, a, a lot of the people. And Yisa Lili joined himself unto Baal Peor, and the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Yisa Lili. And Yahuwah said unto Master, take all the heads of the people, meaning the leaders, and hang, wait, uh -uh. wait a minute, I was wrong. Hold on, let me just finish reading that before I go in and get my little interpretation. And Yahuwah said unto Master, take all the heads of the people and hang them up before Yahuwah against the sun, that the fierce anger of Yahuwah may be turned away from Yisolili. And Massa said unto the judges of Yisolili, Slay ye every one of his men that were joined unto ba Baal Peor. And behold, one of the children of Yisolili came aboard unto his brethren, a Midianitish woman in the sight of Massa, and in the sight of the congregation of the children of Yisolili, who were weeping before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And when, Phil when Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, saw it, he rose up from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand. And he went after the man of Yisolili into the tent and thrust both through, and thrust both of them through the man of Yisolili and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Ye Yisolili. We can... We know what they were doing. <clears throat> if you went after the man into the tent and it went through the ball, they could have been standing up or they could have been laying in a horizontal position. We know right here what they're talking about is the men having sexual intercourse with women who were forbidden unto them. So that was probably, they were probably in the act or getting ready to be in the act because when he thrust his javelin through, it went through him and through her belly. So they were lined up pretty close towards one another, whether they were standing or whether they was laying. That's what was going on. Okay. I read that again. And he went after the man of Yisolili into the tent and thrust both of them through. The man of Yisolili and the woman through her belly. So the plague was stayed from the children of Yisolili. And those that died in the plague were twenty and four thousand. And Yahuwah spake unto Massa or Moses, saying, Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, hath turned my wrath away from the children of Yisolili. While he was zealous for my sake among them, that I consume not the children of Yisolili in my jealousy. 
Wherefore say, Behold, I give unto him my covenant of peace, and he shall have it, and his seed after him, even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous for his God, and made an atonement for the children of Yisraeli. And the name of the Israelite that was slain, even that was slain with the Midianitish woman, was Zimri, the son of Salu, a prince of a chief house among the Simeonites. And the name of the Midianitish woman that was slain was Cosby, the daughter of Zor. He was head over a people and a chief and of a chief house in Midian. And Yahuwah spake unto Master, saying, Vex the Midianites and smite them, for they vex you with their wiles, wherewith they have beguiled you in the matter of Peor and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of a prince of Midian, their sister which was slain in the day of the plague for pure sake. Numbers chapter 26. And it came to pass after the plague that Yahuwah spake unto Mass and unto Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Yisulili from 20 years old and upward throughout their father's house and all that were able to go toward in Yisulili. And Master and Eleazar, the priest, spake with them in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people from twenty years old and upward, as Yahuwah commanded Massa and the children of Yisraeli, which went forth out of the land of Egypt. Reuben, the eldest son of Yisraeli, the children of Reuben, Hanok, of whom cometh the family of Heno Henokites, of Paru, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and they that were numbered of them were forty and three thousand and seven hundred and thirty. And the sons of Palu, Elab, and the sons of Elab, Nemuel, and Dathan, and Abiram. This is that Dathan and Abiram, which were famous in the congregation, who strove against Massa and against Moses in the company of Korah when they strove against Yahuwah. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah. When that company died, what time the fire devoured 250 men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding, the children of Korah died not. The sons of Simeon after their families, of Nemuel, the family of the Nemuelites, and Jamin, the family of the Jamanites, of Jachin, the family of the Jachinites, of Zerah, the family of the Z Zarites, was it Zerah? Yeah, of Zerah, the family of the Zarhites, of Shaul, the family of the Shaulites. These are the families of the Simeonites, 20 and 2,200. The children of Gad, of Gad, after their families, of Ziphon, the family of the Ziphonites, of Haggai, the family of the Haggites, of Shuni, the family of the Shunites, of Ozni, the family of the Ozanites, of Eri, the family of the Erites, of Arod, the family of the Erodites, hmm, Erod, er Erodites, like that, I was thinking about um the movie Divergent, you know, you had the Erodites, and, yeah. of Arod, the family of the Erodites, of Erily, the family of the Erilites. These are the families of the children of Gad, according to those that numbered of them, 40,500. The sons of Judah were Er and Onan, and Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah, or Yaounde, after their families were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Therez, the family of the Therizites, of Zerah, the family of the Zarhites, and the sons of Phares were of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamul, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Yaounde, or Judah, according to those that were numbered of them, three score and sixteen thousand and five hundred. Of the sons of Issachar, after their families of Tola, the family of the Tolaites, of Pua, the family of the Punites, and Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar, according to those that numbered of them, three score, four thousand, and three hundred. Of the sons of Zebulun, after their families, of Sered, the family of the Sardites, of Elon, the family of the Elonites, of Jahilil, and I'm sorry, Jalil, 
the family of the Jalilites. These are the families of the Zebulonites, according to those that were numbered of them, three score thousand and five hundred. The sons of Joseph after their families were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh, of Mekir, the family of the Mekronites, of Mekir begat Gil Gilead, and Gilead, of Gilead come the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Helek, the family of the Helekites. Oh my gosh, how many? Hold on, y'all. Just threw me off looking over and seeing that. We got 65 verses. And I got my braces tightened up yesterday, so I feel like I'm slobbing. So that's why I keep doing like this, and the, the rubber bands are tight. They tighten them up, and they gave me tighter rubber bands. All right, so sorry. Excuse me. And of Azrael, the family of the Azraelites, and of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, of Shemida, the family of the Shemadites, and of Hefer, the family of the Heferites, of Zelophad, the son of Hefer, had no sons but daughters. The name of the daughters of Zelophad Zilo, were Mala and Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. These are the families of Manasseh and those that were numbered of them, 50 and 2,700. These are the sons of Ephraim after their families of Shuthala, the family of the Shuthalites, of Beecher, the family of the Bacrites, of Tehan, the family of the Tehanites. And these are the sons of Shuthala, of Eran, of the family of the Eranites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those that were numbered of them, 30 and 2,500. These are the sons of Joseph after their families. The sons of Benjamin after their families of Bela, the family of the Bela, Belaites. Of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites. Of Hiram, the family of the Hiramites. Of Shupam, the family of the Shupanites. Of Hupam, the family of the Hupanites. And the sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman of Ard, the family of the Ardites, and of Naaman, the family of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families, and they that were numbered of them were forty and five thousand and six hundred. These are the sons of Dan after their families, of Shuham, the family of the Shuhamites. Shuham, Shuh, these are the family of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those that were numbered of them, were three score and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Asher after their families, of Jemna, the family of the Jemnites, of Jesh, Jeshu, Jeshui, the family of the Jeshuites, of Beriah, the family of the Berites, the sons of Beriah, of Heber, the family of the Heberites, of Machiel, the family of the Machielites, the name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those that were numbered of them, who were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. Of the sons of Naphtali, after their families, of Jaz Jaziel, the family of Jazelites, of Guni, the family of the Gunites, of Jezer, the family of the Jezerites, of Shilim, the family of the Shilamites. These are the families of Naphtali, according to their families. And they that were number of them were forty and five thousand and four hundred. These were the number of the children of Yisulili, six hundred thousand and a thousand seven hundred and thirty. And Yahuwah spake unto Master, saying, Unto these lands shall be divided for an inheritance according to the number of names. To many thou shalt give the more inheritance, and to few thou shalt give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. Notwithstanding, the land shall be divided by lot according to the names of the tribes of their fathers they shall inherit. According to the lot shall the possession thereof be divided between many and few. And these are they that were number of the Levites after their families of Gershom, the family of the Gershonites of Kohath, the family of the Kohathites. 
those Merorites, the family of the Merorites. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Libnites, and the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Malites, the family of the Mushites, the family of the Korathites, and Kohath begat Aram. And the name of Aram's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Lewi, or Levi, whom her mother bare to Lewi in Egypt. And she bare unto him Aram, Aaron, Massa, and Miriam, their sister. And unto Aaron was born Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and Nadab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before Yahuwah. And those that were numbered of them were twenty and three thousand, all males from a month old and upward. They were not numbered among the children of Yisraeli because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Yisraeli. These are they that were numbered by Massa and Eleazar the priest who numbered the children of Yisraeli in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. But among these there was not a man of them whom Moses and Aaron the priests numbered when they numbered the children of Yisraeli in the wilderness of Sinai. For Yahuwah had said of them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was not a man left of them save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. All right, y'all, last chapter for today. That was a very long chapter. That was 65 verses. Numbers chapter 27. Then came the daughters of Zephohad, the son of Hepher, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the sons of Joseph. These are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hagla, and Milcah, and Terzah. They stood before Massa, and before Eleazar the priest, and before the princes and the congregation by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, and he was not in the company of them that gathered themselves together against Shahua in the company of Korah, but died in his own sin and had no sons. Why should the name of our father be done away with from among his family? Because he had no son. Give us, give unto us, therefore, a possession among the brethren of our father. And Massa brought their cause before Yahuwah. And Yahuwah spake unto Massa, saying, The daughters of Zephalah speak right. They speak right. Thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren. And thou shalt cause the inheritance of their fathers to pass unto them. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Yisraeli, saying, If a man die and have no son, then ye shall cause his inheritance to pass unto his daughter. And if he have no daughter, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his brethren. And if he have no brethren, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his father's brethren. And if his father's brethren, I'm sorry, and if his father have no brethren, then ye shall give his inheritance unto his kinsmen that is next to him of his family, and he shall possess it. And it shall be unto the children of Yisraeli a statue of judgment, as Yahuwah commanded Massa. And Yahuwah said unto Massa, Get thee up into this mount of Byram, and see the land which I have given unto the children of Yisraeli. And when thou hast seen it, thou shalt also be gathered unto thy people, as Aaron thy brother was gathered. For you rebelled against my commandment in the desert of Zin, in the strife of the congregation, to sanctify me at the water before their eyes, that is the water of Meribah and Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. And Master spake unto Yahuwah, saying, Let Yahuwah, the God of all spirits of flesh, set man over the set a man over the congregation, which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may bring them in that the congregation of Yahuwah be not as sheep which have no shepherd. And Yahuwah said unto Master, Take thee, Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay thy hand upon him, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. And thou shalt put some of thine honor upon him, that all the congregation of the children of Yisraeli may be obedient. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall ask counsel of him after the judgment of the Urim before Yahuwah. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the children of Yisraeli with him, even all of the congregation. And Massa did as Yahuwah commanded him, and took Joshua, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation. And he laid his hands upon him, and gave him 
a charge as Yahuwah commanded by the hands of Massa. That's Wabu TT. And that is our reading for today, beautiful people. That was Numbers chapter 25, 26, and 27. It is Friday, January 17th, 2020. Day 48 of year two of reading through the books of instruction and the prophets. All right, y'all. So we are in preparation day, preparing for the Sabbath for when the sun goes down. Make sure you prepare wisely so you can actually spend some time resting, sleeping. Let that body get that much needed rest from working all week. If you've been working all week, you know, some of you get two days of rest. You all Saturday and Sunday. Hey. The more rest, the better for this body to recuperate and rejuvenate. All right, y'all. So, I don't know. It's getting colder here in Virginia. I don't know where y'all at. But if the sun is out, get outside and get some sun. It is a known scientific thing that sun causes depression to go away for the most part. Because if you're in a house all the time, you find yourself getting depressed and it's like, oh, you get cabin fever. You got to get outside, breathe some of that fresh air, let that sun shine upon you, ground yourself, plant your feet in the dirt, sit in the dirt. I don't care if you got children, play in the dirt with them. Like I was playing with my daughter in the dirt. At first I was like, oh, girl, I'm playing in the dirt. Then I was like, Pam, get over yourself. Get out here and play with this girl in the dirt. Don't act like you're too good to make mud pies. So we sitting out there making mud pies in the dirt. You know, so get out there. It it will really refresh you. Okay, Tiffany. All right, you ready? You ready? I'm going to go ahead and start cooking here shortly. Technically, in a few hours I will because I have to run to the office because they're coming to clean the carpet. So, guys, just practice that on a daily basis. Even if you can get outside 10 to 15 minutes a day or if you're in the office, you get a break. On your break, go outside. Breathe in some of that fresh air. Get some of that sun, let it shine on your face if it's not hiding behind the clouds. And just make sure you, I don't know, practice the art of forgiveness. And you'll notice how your life, you just become, I don't know, you it, it's, you become more in tune with Yah. Your sun, shun, sunshine and the earth are my friends. Yes, we are composed. The human species is composed of two things the earth and the breath of yah his spirit his life force that flows through our bodies that give us life so go out there enjoy it. plant yourself in the dirt like my daddy said find some dirt and plant yourself but he wasn't talking to us in like a spiritual from a spiritual standpoint we was getting on his nerves or plucking his nerves so go sit your tail down but his way of saying it was go find some dirt and plant yourself but i think that's a good little uh analogy that he used for something that we really can practice every day go find some dirt and plant yourself stand out there find in the dirt or something stand in the grass and just ground yourself and take some deep breaths and enjoy that sun y'all all right it's, it's good for the heart <sighs> breathe in good air exhale the bad air lift the windows up in your house let the fresh air flow through just Learn to practice those things daily and you'll realize even that your mental well-being begins to, it gets better. You know, mingle with people. Don't be a hermit crab. Talk to people. When you're outside, how you doing? Smile at people. It's like, you know, some people may ignore you like, oh, what are you talking to me for? Because, you know, I try to practice those things, you know. You know, what you give out is what you get back. You know, so how you doing? Speak to people. When people ride down, shoot, I wave to them like we're in the country. We're in the city. People look at you. Do I know you? Like our neighbor down here, he waves at everybody. I was like, you know, I'm going to start doing that. Really nice guy. You know, so he sit on his porch and everybody that ride by, wave, everything. You know, so show him some good southern hospitality. Although we don't live in the south, we live in the east, so whatever. But anyway, people, let's get out of here because I got to get to the office. So may you who bless us and keep us. May you who make his face to shine upon us and lift his countenance upon us and be gracious unto us in our households. And may he give us his shalom, his peace, his wholeness in every area of our lives that concerns us and our family. Remember, he cares about those things that we care about. So, all right, y'all, I love y'all, and I will see you Sunday morning. Peace.